Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about the new script editor in script runner for Jira. So if you have been using script runner for Jira, I'm sure you are familiar with the concept of uh, uh, using the scripts that you can uh, write on your script on a console or maybe you can write it uh, whenever you are trying to maybe add a condition or maybe you're trying to add a listener. So if you look at, uh, let us say, your console, you have the option to write a script, which is uh, great. So apart from writing the script online from the browser window, you can also write a script uh, by going to this uh, option called file so if you select this option file here you sh you will be able to basically select uh, the file that you store that you may want to store on uh, on the server so let me show you one example here let us say you are trying to add uh, a job and when you try to add a job here for example you may want to add uh, this uh, custom scheduled job which uh, you can use to do something on a regular basis. You also have the concept of escalation service, but uh, you can also use, uh, let us say, this uh, custom job schedule, which may or may not uh, deal with issues because whenever you're working with escalation service, you have to first uh, worry about the JQL and uh, escalation service is mostly to do with the issues, but you may want to do some activities that are not really related to the uh, issues uh, at all and in those cases you can use a custom job schedule now when you are using this custom job schedule you have you have the option to of course uh, give this job a name this is your job one or maybe you want to uh, do some uh, cleanup on a regular basis you can select the user let us say you want to run this job as uh, admin or maybe uh, the user with uh, some special rights so you can definitely uh, select the user here and then you can uh, use this cron expression that maybe you want to run it every minute or maybe uh, every uh, every day uh, at midnight uh, but when you are trying to write a script maybe you can use this uh, online editor but you also have the option to use this file tab now this file tab is uh, something that will let you select a file that you store on the server. But that is actually uh, a bit cumbersome in some cases where you don't have access to the server or, or maybe uh, you are Jira administrator, but, uh, uh, but you have to get through some uh, rights or maybe you need to request someone to basically upload the file for you. However, in the new script uh, editor, there is a possibility where you can basically write your scripts and you can also organize your scripts and later on change those scripts if you want. All, all of that can be done online from your browser uh, window. So let us see how it works. So let us say you want to have uh, some scripts that will do something for you. I mean, uh, for example, I have some simple scripts like uh, hello world or maybe I want to uh, do something with uh, my users on a regular basis or uh, maybe I want to do some cleanup. So it could be any script and the whole idea here is that uh, whenever you want you can of course uh, uh, do some changes here. So this is let us say my change in the script and you can save the script. So whenever you save the script, uh, first of all let me show you how to create a new script. So on top you have the option to either create a folder or you can uh, create uh, maybe the script directly. So maybe you want to organize your scripts in a better way. So let, let us say you want to have some uh, cleanup scripts. So you can uh, create this folder. And when you, let us say, uh, want to add the actual script. So let us say you want to create uh, the script to clean uh, or uh, maybe uh, delete old inactive users. So this this can be uh, any script to be honest and uh, let for the timing let us not worry about uh, uh, the script itself let us see how it works um, and I'll uh, be able to save it so you can save the script and the good thing is that you can also drag the script uh, and move it to let us say your uh, specific folder so you have the option to organize your uh, your script or your scripts 
by simply uh, dragging them to maybe the respective folder. And this is really useful because now the script is actually stored on the server. So let us go back to the uh, scheduled job. So if I go to the same job, which I didn't save, but I'll save it right now. Let us say you want to clean up old inactive users. So you can uh, select your uh, Username here, you can you can specify the cron. Maybe you want to run it on uh, Saturday nights or maybe uh, uh, every day midnight. So you can actually define your cron. And instead of writing the script here, you can actually uh, go to the file tab. And here you can start typing your script script name. So let us search for uh, the uh, script uh, that we uh, just uh, saved under the cleanup script folder. So you can select your, your folder name and then it will give you the option to, of course, uh, select your script. And now you can uh, either add the job or you can run it. So when you run it, you can immediately see the result. That is, of course, nothing but uh, a simple return statement with, uh, the, with the string or a text. And I can now save it. Now, the good thing is that uh, uh, this, is, this job is now saved. Now, what if you want to do a change or you want to modify this? So let us go back uh, to the script editor. Uh, and if you click on the same script, uh, and I can, of course, do my change in the script. So click clean up, clean up users uh, with some changes. So I'm just trying to show you how it works. So you can do your changes in the script. And uh, once you are happy and satisfied with the script, and by the way, uh, if you are trying to change anything, of course, uh, test it properly, but uh, this is something that I let you figure out. But the good thing is that you can apply your changes directly and it will be saved. And if we go back to the same job, and if I probably open uh, the same job again, uh, and uh, if you take a look at the file uh, file tab here, or if you just you know run the job, let us say if I just want to run it very quickly, let us see if we can see the, see, see the changes. So we can actually see the changes and see those changes and it really is quite uh, handy because I can uh, manage my scripts that are stored on the, stored on the server, but I can manage them uh, by uh, simply going to my script editor tab in my uh, browser window while I'm logged into my Jira instance and I, and I don't really need to access the uh, server. And uh, this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.